Hey, it's Chuck Karstensen, Remax Results, live show. It's a beautiful, finally like a beautiful sunny day for one of these live shows. Remember like uh, three weeks ago, I was doing these in snow. So we're on Foley, Minnesota, outside of Foley. I've got a 40 acre property to show you that's surrounded at least like what I'm looking at. I'm looking at you obviously, but in front of me there's state land. So a really secluded 40 acres land that you love house and garage and two outbuildings behind me. We'll take you around a lot of the outside, pop inside quick and show you everything we can. Again, Chuck Harstenson, Remax Results, live video here outside of Foley, Minnesota. I got some details on the notes. 3049 is the listing. We got four bedrooms, 40 acres, and we'll show you a bunch of this. And what I normally do is flip the camera and take you on the tour of the property and we'll get some walking in. It's a little windy. So chime in if you can't hear me because it's windy or if you have questions or if you just want to share it, you're always welcome to do that. I'm going to flip this and show you what we got. Okay, so what I'm looking at here is about the edge of the lot and these tree, trees and land you're going to see on this side. I'll even show you at one point a sign that says that's state land. So you got no neighbors over there. Um, this house is a house built in, I think around the early 1900s, and it's been added on to. So it's got newer roof, stucco siding, some cool tiles inside, some, you know, something different than you normally don't see. And this is one side of it. There's, there's a way to get down. There's some patio areas in front. We'll show you that. Um, three car garage. Septic's pretty new. It's a mound system. We're going to be walking by that. I'm going to try to stabilize this. You know, the one thing I remember, I have a selfie stick, but then I forget to bring it and use it, so I use my hand. I'm going to walk over this corner where there's state land as well. So you can even see, as I get closer, you can see the signs that we've got state land. So a lot of times on these acreage properties that we do, you know, I've had acreage with no outbuildings, no house on that have done live shows at i've had you know other properties with land that we've done live shows at we'll walk around some of them we don't necessarily walk the whole thing because you know i'll start breathing hard and you'll think what's going on <laughs> so I'll, I'll give you a tour and we've you know we got a family who lives here so you're going to see some kids toys so we'll show you a little bit of this so at one point there was a silo here Pretty nice yard over there. We'll show you that as we walk around. There's a backstop for ball playing. So a good size outbuilding. I'm gonna peek in here. Maybe we'll walk through it or walk around it. So it's got like a different storage sections of it. It goes farther back, it gets dark in here. So you can see, keeps going back. Um, we'll post the dimensions on it. My assistant Esther, when we do these videos, she always adds notes later in the day or the next day. She'll post the dimensions of this outbuilding and the next one. I don't always have everything totally memorized and it is obviously really long because it's gotta be a good, I think it's in, in that 60 feet area and 30 plus feet wide. So, and then there's a little shelter for more storage. So you saw the garage at the first part of the video. You got a peek inside this shed and this is a state land i'm showing you there's a road back here and in the background you see like the horse barn where there's the stalls and we're gonna walk back there and show you that there's tillable acreage back there as well we'll show you that you know while we're back here i'll probably swing you back here and show you this side so yeah we peeked at this side of the shop and obviously lots of storage going on and there's obviously, if you have a business, like you saw in there, there's some block work. If you have a business, great to have outbuildings. I know people for hunting like acreage. And sometimes the challenge is you buy hunting land and you gotta drive to it and go use it a few times a year. Here you have the land where you can live on and use. And we will get to that shed pretty soon. Again, I'm gonna do a little there's a little stream of water there. We're gonna give a quick, I like to do these slow, 
panorama of the yard. I told you about the baseball backstop. So look, look at that, what I just showed you, perfect for baseball. There's the other side of the house. We'll get a closer look before. Other side of the shed, a lot of trees around it. And it's a little muddy where I don't know that I'll be walking back to the tillable land. But if, if I raise this up enough, I'll show you. There's a little creek here that comes through here. I'll show you back there, that black you see is tillable land. And it's in the back part here. And then we're gonna take a quick peek at the horse barn. So when, when we got these 40 acre properties, larger properties, uh, the, the Facebook Lives are longer. So that's another reason why after the video later we'll make notes. So there's some stalls in here, shelter, stalls, and that's a good way to show you. It's dark, so we peek in, there's a stall. And here's another little bit larger one. And that's it. Like if you've seen a barn before, you know what we're looking at. If not, we'll keep going this way towards the house. And then we'll get inside the house. Again, any questions, post them. We can answer them. It is listed active on the MLS, 3049. 40 acres, probably I think a little bit over 40 acres. Very secluded. It's not like... Anytime you have 40 acres, it's not like you have people like necessarily on top of you, but I, I will show properties that have large acreage and then the other house is built right next to it. So not the case here, as there's a lot of woods and I said the state land. Sets up perfectly for a hunter type who wants to, this is east of Foley, a little over a mile north of Highway 95, in between Foley and Princeton. So not too hard to access 169, not too hard to, you know, then get down on your commute to the cities. Not too difficult to work if you work in the St. Cloud area, commute that way. So very flexible as far as the commute time. Here's a little view right here of the shed again, back of the garage, and we're going to head in the house. I always note this, sometimes the sellers or some of the sellers are home, so they are. So sometimes uh, people are dodging the video here. <laughs> so I gotta go around. There's a porch area. You'll see it when we come in. I'm actually gonna flip the camera for a second. All right, so that's the outside. We're gonna head inside. That means the sellers are gonna scramble. I'll give them a minute to to, to move, I gotta take my shoes off when I get in. So, and I am in fairly good shape. So even if it looks like, hey, he's breathing heavy and he's walking, it's just, uh, I don't know, I'm talking and walking. I, I ran, my longest I ever ran yesterday. Some of you saw this on Facebook. Michelle and I did a half marathon relay. So I ran seven plus miles. Um, and that, I didn't do too bad. I ran the first five plus without stopping and then I had to stop and do the walk run. So I'm in I'm in shape. It's just if I talk and walk and run it gets a little bit harder for me. So I'm going to flip the camera here and show you the property inside. And it is. Okay, so here we are. Well, I walked in that entryway with the porch and now I'm in the kitchen. There's a dining area. And I told you when I walk around there's some cool tile, countertop, that kind of stuff. So, so it's been updated. Even this is a 1900 type of house. Big kitchen area. I'll show you the floors a little bit. This is tile floors. Stainless steel, fridge, microwave. We didn't come in this way, but it's another option for entry points. There's a couple entries. Here's a large back door entry, again with tile work. If you're coming in from the garage, this way you go. Even a little sitting room area or a flexible room. And even the walls have pretty cool tile stonework. The previous owner before these owner was like a stucco tile contractor. So they did all kind of work to the house. They got the cool stain painted doors here. So we got a brick surround fireplace. There's two bedrooms on this level, two bedrooms down here, downstairs, and a nice family room upstairs. 
And you know, I got an iPhone 6S, so sometimes it doesn't do it justice when I do the videos this way. I'll eventually upgrade and get something even more video ready. So we're, we're just gonna do a quick pop upstairs to show you the large family room upstairs. And it's a great view, you know, we're showing you the yard. This has a whole view of the yard. You can even, if, if you look here, you can see the tillable land better because I'm elevated here. Now I'm going back downstairs. Rod railings on the staircase here. Again, more tiled texture walls. And this is a, another flexible room over here. They're using it as a dining room. I'll get to the bedrooms here. There's some unique stuff. There's a bathroom there. The lights are off. I'm not going to pop in there. Trust me, there's a bathroom there. Um, let me flip the lights here so you can see. Okay, well, i got to remember where the lights are. So <laughs> hang on. It's going to get dark for a minute. All right. Yes, not your number one videography. Eventually, I, I might just, my wife might start helping me with these, carrying the cameras, or maybe I'll carry the camera and let my wife do the videos. But now we're in the second bedroom. And then I wouldn't have those awkward moments where I'm showing, you know, part of the room or the dark part. So again, more stonework in the house or brickwork. This master is super huge. Hopefully I know how to use the lights in here. Otherwise it'll be dark than it should be. Give me a second. Got a neat woodwork, ceiling fan. It's like two tiered. So in here, it's got a large walk-in closet, which I didn't figure out the lights before I got in here. So it's probably really dark and you can't see anything, but that upstairs where the bed is, locked it, bed area, staircase, then a master bathroom. And there's light coming in here. So you'll see it super bright. Master bathroom here shower, toilet, separate, and fit space where they used to have, previous owner had a whirlpool in here, and now it's open area. All right, so we're gonna go back out. I showed you the upstairs, showed you this. Now we're gonna go back inside, around. I'm going too fast, sorry. So hopefully now we'll show you downstairs. Downstairs is partially unfinished. Again, this is a, a home that was built in the earlier 1900s. Normally those bathrooms, or those basements don't have anything you can use in. Down here, it's like I said, partially unfinished. So there's storage back there in the dark area that you can't see. Here is an amusement room. Again, more brickwork, built-in cabinets. And then since it's super dark, there's two bedrooms down here. I'm probably not even going to be able to show you them, or maybe the kids will be in them. So I'll just take a quick look. And obviously finished space. There is finished space. Somebody was calling me. It skips out. We'll go back upstairs then. I'm going to flip the camera. All right. Again, if you just jumped on or you're watching the live video or you're on and off, Chuck Karstensen, Remax Results. 40 acre listing, four bedroom, two bathroom home, and show you the outside, now the inside, and showed you some of the features like the tile work, stone work, brick work inside. We got a large kitchen, I gotta go to the right lighted spot. So this one's only been out there a couple weeks, 3049. Hard to find something in that price range with this much space in the house with the two outbuildings plus a large detached garage. So definitely check it out, ask questions, and share this out. Thanks again for watching. Chuck Harstenson, Remax Results.